Hello everyone, today we're going to show you how you can connect your VPN client device to your access server uh, using our OpenVPN Connect app. At this point, you should have already successfully deployed your access server. If you haven't done so, uh, you can use the guide below for that. Uh, first, you have to go to your admin login. This is by going to your access server IP address or URL, then slash admin. Then you have to log in with your credentials, your admin credentials, and you will be granted access to the access server configuration. In user management, then user permissions, you can create a new user over here at the bottom. Uh, let's create a user test, and we have to set a password for it. Save settings, and then update the running server. Now you can successfully use your client profile through different methods. The first one you can go to your user login, which is the same access server URL or IP address, but then uh, you don't type in admin. Then you log in with your new user. And you will be prompted to download uh, the software, our OpenVPN Connect app software. Uh, it is recommended for my device, in my case it is a Windows machine, but since I already have the uh, app in installed, I'm just going to download the profile for my user, then I can just double click on it, and the profile will be automatically imported, then I just can click on connect, enter my password, and I am connected to the VPN. Uh, the other method, you can actually import it using the same app. You just click on the plus sign here, type in your access server URL or IP address, then click next, accept, and then your user and your password. And click on import, accept again and you have imported your profile then you can just connect to it like this and then the other method you have uh, you can actually generate the user profile from your access server admin ui over here in user profiles um, you can you just look for your user test user right here and click on new profile create and then the profile is downloaded and it is the same process you can just double click on it and it will be automatically imported onto your machine there you go